the holder of restraint. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you walk up to the front desk, ask to visit the thing that deems itself the holder of restraint. Should the man working the desk suddenly appear joyful, leave immediately. You are in the wrong place, and you do not wish to meet the thing that truly resides here. But should he appear uncaring and bored, repeat your answer more firmly. If he continues to ignore your requests, feel free to make death threats until he accepts. He will then lead you to the simple janitor's closet of the Institute. He'll unlock the door and begin to go ahead of you into the dark. Stop him in the most polite manner you can. The holder of restraint has no time for rudeness, and ask if you could lead the way. He will agree, and as you step into the dark room, he will slam the door shut behind you. Even though you will be bathed in pitch black, continue forward, despite your lack of sight. The walking will seem to go on for hours, and if at any point you see a light in the distance, scream aloud. Control yourself! Should the light grow brighter, immediately hit the floor and lie face down. If you fail to do so quickly enough, you will find yourself being baked alive by the shining light. Keep going on in the dark until you feel a burst of cold air hit you from behind. Turn around and change directions, going back the way you just came, even though there is nothing back there. You'll find yourself suddenly walking out of a dark alleyway, and the streets on the other side are cobbled and olden, perhaps the streets of another time entirely. Tiptoe silently until you can see the empty street and sidewalk clearly, but keep in mind to stay in the shadow as much as you can. Leaving the safety of the cool dark will surely be putting your life in forfeit. You will see a handsome young man leaning against a lamppost alone. He should have blonde hair. But if the man has any other shade than that, you must flee back into the darkness. He knows you have been coming for his crimes, and he is prepared to silence you. The man will do nothing for a long period of time, just leaning against the lamppost boredly as a few men and women pass him by. Eventually, no one will be out in the street any more besides him. But just as you are about to succumb to your curiosity and leave the haven of the dark alleyway, a young woman with black hair will emerge from around the corner. What comes next has led countless seekers to their deaths. The man you have been watching so intently for the last few hours will grab the woman and violently rape her in plain view. You will be forced to watch the man until he is finished with his little victim. She'll scream and beg for your help, but you must ignore her. Restrain your common sense of justice throughout her entire violation, no matter what your conscience screams at you. To rush out into the street now will be quite a foolish act for someone who values their free lives. After the man is finished with his twisted pleasure, he will slit her throat and the scene will become almost unbearable for you to not go out there and save her. But have faith, it is almost over. He will then proceed to run away from his victim's corpse and leave around the same corner from which she emerged. After you are positive it is safe, Run out from the alleyway to the bloody corpse of the woman. Kneeling besides her fresh body, take her limp hand in yours and plead into her lips. 
Will they be able to restrain their urges? Most of her face will be covered by her jet black hair, but her mouth is free to answer you. Her bloodied and bruised mouth will whisper to you a most despairing truth. She will be difficult to hear, so make sure you lean over her closely to receive your answer, else suffer a burning regret for missing a single sentence of your prize. Her answer will be short and quick, but the despair and emptiness that it will leave is excruciating. Some seekers have even gone so far as to take their own lives at this point. Keeping her hand in your clasp, close your eyes and count to five out loud, so that her tortured spirit may hear your reassuring words. After you reach the final number, you are free to open your eyes. You should be seated in a chair in the recreation hall of the Institute. In your clasped hands will be a single, wintertime glove. The glove is object 325 of 538. It is the only thing capable of covering up their carelessness.